Today we're talking to Christina Ross, who is going to be at virtually all of our events this year in 2020. And um, she, she was in a couple of events last year and was kind of blown away with her talent for drawing people's um, spirit guides and telling them what they mean. That, could you tell us a little bit more about what you do? Because I don't know exactly. I've never had it done yet. I'm originally from Russia and I'm a trained artist. I have a degree in fine arts and I come from art family. I'm basically a psychic and uh, I incorporated my abilities, uh, brought, brought them together and uh, serving people that way means I can see their spirit guides behind them in the um, uh, invisible world and I'm able to draw them. So when people come to me and I connect to the guides, I draw the guides and I give a little message from them. So people will be able to take a drawing with them to take home and it's a healing drawing, means they can connect to the guides even when they're home. They can frame the picture and they do. Uh, they can ask questions because it is a med mediumship. So besides their uh, picture of the spirit guides, they can um, ask questions and get uh, insight on the life as well. Have you always been able to do this, or uh, where did you get this ability? That's very unusual. I had um, personal experience where my uh, Kundalini rose up in a Reiki initiation. And uh, I've been healed in, uh, in a few minutes. And after that, I was able to see spirit. So I start um, developing my gifts. And I've been on the path for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I draw uh, a picture actually happened when a friend came to me and asked to give a reading to someone who had um, scars on their body and I don't remember how they got them and um, basically I told them that I cannot explain what I see but I can draw mm. and that's how it all started. It sounds like you did learn how to explain what you see after that though. It took some time to develop a dictionary between me and spirit because spirit does talk in pictures. Oh. And it's beautiful fairy tale pictures. It's not direct, it's not words. So it oh, took okay. me some time to develop my dictionary, but I'm pretty comfortable right now. And um, my guides know what I can comprehend. So they give me exact picture or little notch of emotion. So I translate the picture correctly. And I've done uh, many, many, many readings for the past eight years, been traveling. Uh, in California, Arizona, go to UFO conventions or uh, um, healing or psychic conventions. I do have a portfolio. You can see my work uh, uh, on Instagram. It is Ross, which is my last, na last name, R-O-S-S -S underscore millennium. Uh, follow me up and uh, stay up to date uh, about my travels. You also can call me. There's my information, my email and phone number to call me on Skype and have a reading. You can connect to me that way. She's gonna uh, give me a drawing today of my spirit, so I'm really looking forward to finding out what they have to say to me and who they are. give you a message um, okay. what spirit uh, told me uh, and that's kind of overview of a soul um, or soul's path on this earth and it's really um, uh, poetic in a way so the way spirit showed me you and I saw you step in you know this Mayan steps you know in uh, Mexico, they have this Mayan temple and the steps are humongous. So you walk in this humongous steps and there's a figure on the top of the steps. And it's, this figure represents God or Buddha or consciousness. 
in this lifetime you're taking these humongous steps it's really hard to step on go over and you slowly climbing toward that figure toward that consciousness and uh, all that behind that is a um, um, like a sunset an ocean it's beautiful and on top of your head they showed me a fountain literally a fountain and the water actually falling down off from the fountain and all around you also the first thing I saw was a net as a net you know like the that you catch the fish with but uh, openings of in the net were a little larger and uh, it been carried by their doves so is that net the doves are carrying is it filtering out like negativity is it protecting me um, I think this net is um, carried by spirit to cover the blind spots that behind you it's actually behind you and above you a little bit something that you don't see but spirit taking care of it that's how I read it because I saw doves carrying it um, it could be angels I could see angels but it's actually a doves and doves represent a Christ consciousness and that's universal language yeah, and Dove, peace, all of, peace yeah, and love peace Christ yeah. so, uh, I think it's significant um, yeah, also, beautiful. I saw a swishes of energy as you walk, you leave like a wind behind you. I literally saw it as this swishes of energy or wind. And I draw it here, uh, means uh, you move through reality and you leave some... Um, you leave something behind means you move the energy you move the air you know it's not an in an invisible or unfelt um, journey you walking through uh, reality and living mm, like energy path behind you that's how I saw it it would occur to me is like leaving a pathway behind means it's not unnoticed you leave mm -hmm. something behind um, uh, and because I know you a little bit I know what you leave behind you know you um, um, you bring people together and uh, you glue things together you manifesting also very interesting and I draw it here I saw you you see this is hand and mm -hmm. this is your hand okay. so say you had this tool in your hand and this is you know how merry go around mm -hmm. people's will so it's actually in your hand and people sitting in the merry go round chair and they swim like that and then you had it in your hand and i know what you do you basically you you bring people together go on a ride together literally we are all together in that and uh, <laughs> you organize that you know you get that merry-go-round going that's funny. in a way and that's how if even if I didn't know you you know, I would still you know translate something like that also very interesting I saw wool you know wool ships wool mm -hmm. and uh, I saw ships wool being we weaven into a line you know, it was it was it's going and get attached to the ancient machine that weave the um, like a loom. Loom. It was it was connected to loom machine, and that loom machine was weaving the wool, a line of wool, and uh, it's a material. So it's a material that something can be made of. So I would say that your spirit weaving the wool uh, so you can you have a material something to walk with and that's it's just um, an allegory it's like a play of words or play of images mm -hmm. to deliver the message but that's how spirit communicates to me it means it sends me images and I have to put them together and translate them um, you can ask questions you can okay. ask specific questions and uh, while I'm drawing I
probably will be able to uh, give you a message on that as well. Uh, I'm curious about what's on top of my head in the image. I, I saw it as a fountain and... Um, oh, that's the fountain. You it's a, I saw a fountain and a fountain endlessly uh, flowing with water. And water is flowing from a fountain and around you, you know. Fountain, it can be fountain of youth, it can be fountain of ideas, okay. it can be fountain of energy, fountain of love, fountain of blessings. But it's very significant because um, it's on your head, mm -hmm. means it's what's on your mind, it's what's inside you, it's your thought process, means that's how you think and that's how you see the world. And that's very significant because because I can see a bird's nest on your head as well, <laughs> or might as well, and that will give me a completely different message. But it's a fountain, and it's okay. a water, and it's continuously overflowing, falling down around you, and uh, it washes off. You know, it's a clear water. Cleansing. It's a clean water. It's a clear water, and that represents your thinking, what's in your head your main and most driven thought mm -hmm. and that's i think it's very significant so it, me it tells me a lot i also saw a fox a fox yeah um i'm gonna draw him because uh it it had the blue eyes it was really well fed it was really like had pretty fur so but uh, i saw a fox and uh um i will say we'll leave it as your totem animal okay. uh, a fox so do you have any other questions sky is the limit okay is well one thing it reminded me of uh, many years ago I went to Egypt and I um, at the end of my trip I spent the night in the king's chamber of the great pyramid mm -hmm. but on the full moon the week before that, I climbed to the top of the pyramid mm -hmm. um, with the help of a. I met, a, I met a man named Champion in Egypt who was the fastest pyramid climber ever. That's why he was champion. Uh -huh. And his son Ramadan took a group of us to the top of the pyramid on the full moon. And I, it reminded me of when you climb that pyramid, the blocks that make up the pyramid are almost as big as me. You know what I mean? So yeah. you have to like lift yourself up on, you can't just walk, you have to like climb up like four or five foot cubes on yeah. your way up. So that picture that, and that description of what you're saying kind of reminded me of that when I climbed up to the top of the Great Pyramid in Egypt. But spirit in this case use it as a um, play of words, of play of metaphor images, metaphor, of metaphor for, um, for your life means I didn't draw the steps as gigantic as I saw them only because um, um, I want to make a point of a steps. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the size of the steps are also very significant. In a, in a so step. how did you see them? Were they taller than me? No, they are they about up to here. About so five foot, five means foot. you can manage to climb, but you have to put you some have to effort really pull yourself up. Yeah. yeah, it's not that easy. It's not uh, a breeze. But yeah. um, a breeze is behind you means <laughs> there's a sunset and the ocean and the birds mm -hmm. and uh, all that work mm, uh, evolving up front of the ocean scene beautiful and peaceful so if it was any other scenery i would say you know it's tough it may be hard this may not it might not be easy but whatever was behind was the ocean and the peaceful sunset and the birds it was very peaceful uh, i would say it just only maybe um a quest or a lesson or um, that just how you um, maybe uh, you chose your path I would say you chose the height of the steps 
for experience or knowledge or, or you know it just just the way it is uh, I would say uh, those steps are a choice yeah the image of the um, fountain on top of my head to be very interesting because the way you were talking about it's kind of the way I think and the way I think to me is it's maybe just like a, a fountain like you said where it's not even me thinking but it's coming from a well or something or it's, it's coming out of some other source than my brain really I'm not really thinking of what to say a lot of the time it's just, it, it is kind of like a fountain it just pours out and of course through me from somewhere else from so some, some other too. source because I think of it as kind of that I'm downloading stuff a lot of the time when I mm -hmm. talk to people or write something or, you know, I feel like it's pouring through me and it's not about me particularly conduit of universal energy but, yeah like it's just moving through me like like you said, like a fountain. I never thought of it as water before. I was thinking of it as kind of downloading, like um, pouring down from above through my head. But it sounds, the way you're describing it, it almost sounds like it's coming from below and coming out. No, it's coming from um, a fountain. It means it's coming from up and coming down. But uh, it represents just your th way of thinking means it's on top of your head so it represents what's inside of your head mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, i mean in that sense yeah from inside out it's coming f from a source like a well or it's coming from like a, a spring it feels like it's coming from a, a spring that's coming deep from somewhere deeper than my own brain is what i'm saying one of my first jobs in life is not far from here uh, being king of the trolls at Magic Mountain when it first opened. And so that ride that you're talking about, it kind of reminds me oh, of really? when I was working at Magic <laughs> Mountain for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very significant because you had it in your hand and you walk with people. You had merry-go-round in your hand yeah. and it was very small and the merry-go-round was like this and people were little and they were, yeah. you know, blah, blah. but knowing what you do means you are event coordinator, you know, yeah. and uh, it kind of makes sense because you always talk of happiness and you always talk bringing people together. Yeah. So even if I didn't know you and I saw Mary go around in your hand, I would say you bring people happy together. Well, that will be my message. Yeah, that's, my, but, that's my job. Right. To connect right. People and together. you would say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm event coordinator. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's also what Gemini is, is connecting two opposites together. But, the, the weird thing about the picture is it's it's in a ride. It looks like a ride at an amusement park, and I, I literally used to work on that ride at Magic Mountain. That's oh, how, really? That's, <laughs> I, that's how I got my. Before I was king of the trolls, oh. I, I sometimes was a ride operator. That's, funny. that's how I got my start in this business, because I consider you know putting on events like entertainment for people, and I got my start as an entertainer by being king of the trolls at Magic Mountain and working on rides. You can't get away from it. You're putting amusement park rides in the picture. That's what's blowing my mind. I really like this. Do you have any questions? Uh, okay, so I see birds and the, it's either the sunset or the sunrise over there. Um, it's your favorite time of the day just before the, the sun comes down. What is this? Looks like a chair or? A it's an ancient uh, loom. Oh, that's what ancient you're weaving. Loom. Oh, you're weaving. That's a wool. Wool into fabric. Yeah. I mean, I would probably put you behind the loom, but that's not the point. The point is that in, uh, the spirit gives me messages showing me objects or a fabric of your reality, how you function and what your priority priorities are and how you think. So the fountain is on your head, mm -hmm. is your thinking process. And you obviously have lots of ideas flowing, flowing through you. Would be the word, yeah. Yeah. Um, endless what? fountain of ideas. Is this the wind you were talking about? Yeah, uh, the first first thing I saw you walking those steps, you create a wind behind you, 
uh, or movement of our energy or movement in the air. And I think you said before that this net up here is kind of protecting me, but it represents spirit, those birds, the doves, represent spirit. Also through Help that, me. I saw the sky. And, uh, and uh, after the sky, I saw the space. Means I can see the space through the net and the stars. Mm -hmm. Which is very interesting because uh, you're interested in the stars, mm -hmm. right? And that carried by spirit. I believe you said it was kind of like they were taking care of the things that can't be seen out there in space. And um, that's kind of the way I feel like I'm always taken care of. Like, you know, I, I have, like you say, I, I, many big challenges. But for some reason, I've, it's like spirit is always has my back, you might say, and is taking care of me. I also can translate it as a fabric of reality being carried by spirit. And I do see reality sometimes as a matrix or very structural lines that goes, looks like a net, mm -hmm. like computer net, you know. So I could translate it as a fabric of reality carried by spirit upon you, above you. Interesting because you mentioned fabric down here that the loom is actually creating wool or something is creating fabric right there. So I wonder if that fabric is related to that fabric. Everything is related. In <laughs> fact, every artist needs the materials to create with. So it's only a metaphor for uh, materials that are given to you and you doing something with them. It could be a loom, mm -hmm. a wool, it could be you know, a merry-go-round tool with a spirit guide drawing. Um, I do give messages if such I need it. And it can be uh, as simple as uh, about the next job or a move. Mm. It, it is a mediumship that you can, it's a reading that you can receive from um, any other psychic. I just incorporated my artistic abilities and um, I work with the guides, with angelic guides, creating beautiful picture. It interests me the most because I exercise in all my gifts, including my psychic ability and my art, art gift. I'm able to share it with you and you take something home. And besides that, art is healing because I am channeling. And uh, it's a message from spirit that you can you know, place it's me beautiful. home. beautiful, really, really pretty. Okay. And do people ask you questions before you draw it and it affects what you draw or do they ask you generally after you've drawn it? Uh, sometimes I uh, going through a reading, asking questions, ask them to ask questions, and I answer. It is it happens when um, I don't get much information, or I become I, I get um, a veil, and I cannot lift it. I begin to ask questions. It helps me. People usually who are open, I uh, very easily can communicate with their guides and. Uh, bring messages through. Sometimes when people are kind of not sure what, where, what they're going to get, um, then I do ask questions and it helps me to um, maybe lead them towards hearing from me what they want to know. I didn't talk to, um, to you necessarily because I want to capture everything I've seen really fast. It, sometimes it's so much information, there's no space for me to talk. I just have to draw. Yeah, it seemed it, like you had a lot already yeah. happening before. But I it varies. Some, yeah. uh, sometimes, if I know I have a little bit more time, I would make it more vast mm -hmm. and it will be more specific and it will be more down to earth, earth on, on everyday basis. Um, people do ask. Um, because it seems to be, in general, focused on kind of my journey or my path and the effect I'm having on other people, etc. Um, but I'm wondering if this gives you any message about, seems like the nature of my work or the nature of my business. And does this picture tell you anything about that? Or is, it, or is that something normally someone would ask before you draw the picture and affect the picture? It's easier if, for me if I don't know uh, anything about it, but we're all going through change. And you feel it, I feel it, uh, Joseph feel it. And uh, many other people I talk to, in a spiritual community feel it let's see what next year will bring um, i hope you will will grow our community and um, i predict that's exactly what's going to happen yeah well it looks to me this part of the picture is kind of right where i'm walking towards here 
that looks very auspicious as far as the direction to be going is towards that light and those birds flying and stuff like that. Yeah, well, you just go into a god. You know, yeah. you you um, climbing up there, and in the process of climbing, life happens to you. And but you have some tools to work with, which is great. You can knit a fabric of reality from the loom. So that's great. I really like the the images that you put in there. And I'm curious, uh, you're going to be available at. It seems like almost all of the upcoming events that we're putting on. Yeah, I'm and planning to. This is what you'll be doing there. Uh, yeah, I will be doing uh, spirit guide drawings at uh, New Earth events. Uh, upcoming schedule is on the website. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there and uh, do some some art and um, share some love and. Um, uh, grow our community. Please uh, go to website newearthevents.com. So I understand you have a, a special going right now for people who'd like to have a spirit drawing like this done? Yes, I have a regular price of $150 for a spirit drawing, but I have a special uh, two people uh, for a price of $150 can, can get two, two readings, two drawings. And, and that's if they order in advance on the website? If they order in advance on the website, they can come and meet me um, at the event or they can um, meet me online and uh, I will do drawing for them and I will mail mail it to them later. Oh, so you don't have to be in the same uh, room No, I can this. I can do it online. Yeah. Okay. Also, I have a special 40% uh, discount uh, online if pre-ordered for uh, one person 40% off, which it comes to $90 for a reading. So please check out uh, newearthevents.com for um, a special. Well, and then you said you can get two for one, so two people could get it for yeah, they, one yeah, we can we can get online all together, two people, and uh, I will do drawing uh, in a distance and mail it to them for $150. Okay. Two for one. Wow, that's very generous of you. That's <laughs> a lot of value for, <laughs> for not too much. Well, I want people to experience that. and. Um, have the drawings and, and a home and uh, gets my energy going and I will exercise my my gifts and uh, meet new people awesome I understand you also have like uh, another version of this that you do with is it with oil or yeah anything? you uh, you can upgrade um, and get a portrait of your spirit guide in oil on canvas it will take some time for me to paint but um, that can be done and we can frame it for you the price will be six hundred dollars for a spirit guard drawing on uh, oil on canvas you also can contact me about that uh, via email or through a website newearthevents.com uh, or come in person to any of the events i will be there uh, please contact me and get in touch and uh, go from there that sounds great. Thank you.